Some lawmakers are concerned with some of the places North Dakota has invested its money. Joel Crane is live at the Capitol and joins us with more now. Hi, Joel. Hi, Jody. Yeah, I have a question for you. Who are the U.S.'s biggest adversaries? Now, if you go and walk down the street and you ask a bunch of people that, probably most of their answers are going to be either China or Russia. Now, despite that fact, the state holds investments in both Chinese and Russian, Russian companies, and that's causing some heartburn at the state capitol. Representative Bernie Satrum has a message for those in charge of the state's investments. If we invest our principal and we don't have principles, we are lost and we are hollow. That's why he introduced House Bill 1278, which would open up the state's investment contracts for interested bidders every five years. But those involved with the implementation of the State Investment Board program say that's not as easy as it sounds. That would make it very difficult, especially in private markets uh, for us, because those commitments are um, well over five years long. They're five, ten years long. The capital is locked up. When you're part of a li limited partnership, uh, you, uh, you have to guarantee that participation for, for many years to be able to achieve that return. Representative Satrum's concern is twofold both what the state is investing in and who is doing the investing. Somehow we don't have anybody in North Dakota that's eligible or smart enough to be handling any of the funds we have that we're investing. I'm offended. I know smart bankers. I know smart trust people. I know smart financial people. But those on the state investment board say they've tried that. To date, the responses we've been getting back are, we can't handle this at this time, but please keep us posted for the next one. And so we've started that communication, we've started that conversation to try to get them opportunities and give them chances to bid on those. Still, Representative Satrum says the state's stakes in China and Russia, no matter how small, should be divested. When I first found out, found out about this, I was embarrassed, and we should be embarrassed. But if we continue, we should be ashamed. The committee didn't act on the bill on Thursday. Last March, the State Investment Board voted unanimously to divest from Russian entities after Russia invaded Ukraine. I'll keep you updated on this bill as it makes its way through the legislature. Live at the Capitol, I'm Joel Crane reporting for your news leader.